Welcome to, are we really live? Yes, we are. <laughs> we are, okay. Well, welcome to Lagging Out. Uh, we are uh, here on your Saturday night. Uh, once again, uh, the coolest podcast about video games, comic books, science fiction, all things nerd that you are not watching. Uh, I'm your host, Funny Guy. I'm here with the Chieftain and Zombie Killer. We're going to be Hello. discussing... Uh, topics from around the world of uh, gaming. Uh, before we get started, going to give a shout out to uh, our first oldest and main sponsor, Gamer Gloves. Kids, do you want to play like the pros? Then you need to get yourself a pair of Gamer Gloves. Tired of your hands getting sweaty, all clammy? Check out thegamergloves.com and use the coupon code WAGONOUT to save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. FUUnpostingit.com, the only social media outlet where you can post whatever you want without censorship. Check out FUUnpostingit.com today. Check out their Fierce Gaming Females. They support all gamers on all platforms. You can like them at their Facebook fan page at Fierce Gaming Females, all one word, or you can join their Facebook a group page at Fierce Gaming Females. Hot Chicks with Sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see me doing the robot? No. No, you missed it. I was doing the robot while you were. Oh, I thought you were just lagging out again. No, I was doing the robot. That was. If you watched the last show, he looks like he looks like Gumby, like the stop motions, like the really bad stop motion. It's just like brought to you by Gumby. I love the stop motion animation world. So. uh... On to the world of uh, gaming news. Dee, 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 dee. With this, all right, I'll start nice. with this, and then you can take the next one. Uh, yeah. they, did you know that there was a WoW-obsessed couple who neglected their kids? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just wow. another reason not to play WoW. I'm sorry. I know we probably got WoW players that watch our show. Yeah. I don't play WoW. I really don't. Two reasons. One, I'm not that into being a wizard. Right. And you don't, don't have know. kids neglect, right? Uh, well, and I don't have kids. Well, I don't have any kids, but th- neither here nor there. I just, if it was space oriented, I might be a little more apt to. Personally, my flavor of on PC is is RTSs. But uh, according to a news source, there was a couple that has been convicted of neglecting their children over being obsessed with playing WoW. All I can say is WoW. They were found to have kept their two kids locked up inside their mobile home. Don't this laugh. This is terrible. Please. I'm not. I know. I, well. <sighs> Yeah, it is. Um, I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> it's terrible what happened to the kids, but just the fact that to me it's funny that somebody would even do this. Um, between May of 2010 and 2013, they were kept in unsanitary and uninhabitable conditions. Uh, needless to say, uh, without going into the very gross and disturbing details of the home, neighbor finally called the cops after three years. You know, it took them three years to call the cops. These people have been playing WoW for a year straight. They know they have kids. They still wait three years. Okay. After the incident had first started and the children were found malnourished, uh, they had damaged teeth beyond repair, dirty with matted hair. Both parents pled guilty. The father being sentenced to five years in the state prison, the mother being sentenced to three years and four months. Why do they get two different jail terms? You know, I don't know. Is one like a level 50 paladin? The only one is only a level 40 paladin? Yeah, I know. Like, what was was the guy ranked higher? Is that how they, they determined that he put more time into the game? I, I mean, really. Um, I gotta say this: if at any point you're playing games and you're neglecting your personal hygiene or other people, such as your children, I mean, wow. But see, to me, somebody would be quick to jump on the bandwagon and blame the video game. I don't blame the video game. I honestly believe that this is probably a mental disorder, and you know, the odds of two people. I mean, really, something mentally wrong. Um. I actually saw an article, and I'm not sure exactly when it had happened, but there was another incident apparently where someone, I think, had traded their kids for gold in the game. What? Are you kidding me? It was it was an it was something that popped up when I was actually, you know, when when this came out um, in the news, and I'm reading online, 
th it was a separate article, and I'm like, you know what, screw that, I don't even want to know, but there was a mention of some other way worse incidents, well, depending on how you look at it, that have happened I, between WoW I, and, I, and what they've done. I got news for you, but see, here's the thing, a lot of people might be quick to jump on games or something like that. Um, and say, oh, it was the games. And I personally think that that's just uh, the game is the catalyst for whatever disorder is going on there. Well, yeah. I think that there's like a, like a disorder. Like right? these two parents, it just happened to be wow. It wasn't, it could have been, you know, croquet or polo or, you know, whatever. He would have to be on drugs to win That play sounds WoW. like something like a wow player on meth would do. I've seen this trailer in, uh, in Grand Theft Auto. Who? This trailer that they're talking about, I think they had it in Grand Theft Auto when I was playing the other day. Are you eating? Lossinger. Are you talking about the article that we're reading? Yeah. I saw this in Grand Theft Auto. What do you mean you the saw it in Grand Theft Auto? trailer. Come on. Think about it. Never mind. Oh, Which that's one why I was laughing. It's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> I mean, really. I thought you... I, thought, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm normal. I, 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 you know, I don't know what to say. I'm... I, you know, I could go into more detail of what the article said if you really don't believe that it was real. Yeah, go ahead and go into it a little bit. I never said I don't, don't believe you. I'm just asking. Okay, well, there were species all over the trailer. Duty! But I think what was what was really odd was the used condoms under a teddy bear. I mean, what were they? I mean, like they have to have a source of income. They have to pay for their internet. Well, they're doing it with with uh, Wow Gold. That's how they're paying for stuff, right? Yeah, they really did have 20 kids. They just sold the other ones off, and they're now down to two. How do they have time to have kids if they're playing WoW all the time? I don't know, That's but how did they have kids if they had all those used condoms shoved under a, a teddy bear? <laughs> was, it, was it a Care Bear? That's even better. Don't touch me there, bear. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I think we need to move on. This is going very badly. Yeah, this is horrible. This is horrible. Can we go on to something a little bit lighter? I have a rule, man. When I'm at work, if you play WoW, there is no, I, I work in a no WoW zone. That there's a certain personality that plays it. And I'm not saying it's bad, but what I am saying is that there are certain types of people that play that game and certain types that just don't. I'm just going to say that, that I don't. played it once, but that's I didn't even know what I was playing, and I got conned into it. And it's a beautiful game. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful game. But uh, we, were, we were going out for like New Year's Eve or something like that. But anyway, I got this whole, hey, can you take over? I got to go take a shower real quick. And I'm like, okay. So then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, is this freaking wow? Are you kidding me? So as soon as I figured out what it was, I killed his character. Was that bad of me? I would have gotten him lost somewhere. Like, I don't know, dude. You're in a tree someplace. I got on a griffin, and here I am. <laughs> you know? This is actually an exclusive from Lagging Out. Lagging out exclusive. <laughs> Got a graphic. Bah! Harrison Ford, known for reprising infamous roles such as Indiana Jones and more recently Han Solo in the latest installment of the Star Wars saga, has lended his voice and likeness to the video game genre. Ford teamed up with developer Electronic Arts in the newest installment of the Need for Speed franchise. The scheduled release in mid-2015 entitled Need for Speed Amish Drift and will resurrect Ford's character, John Book, from the classic 1985 film, Witness. Anyway, <laughs> they're trying to reprise the role. Uh, we are very fortunate that Harrison signed on for this project, Ronald Sutherland adds. We wanted him for this project in hopes to revitalize the series as an appeal to an older audience. <laughs> <laughs> great, and by the way, great job with the graphic, Draco. Yes, very good, very, very good. Love it. Um, another thing, too, uh, I don't have a graphic for this, unfortunately, but uh, I'll just leave this cool thing on here. Lagging Out like to announce a new show coming to our network, Nerd Realm, a radio show about anything nerdy or geeky, hosted by 404 and Havoc on Thursday nights starting in two weeks. Check them out only on the Lagging Out network on their own playlist. They're going to be on Google+, Twitch, and YouTube as well. So welcome, uh, Nerd Realm, to the Lagging Out family. Welcome. Yes, welcome. So yes. I listened to their show the other night. It's funny as hell. So if if hell is funny, it would it is that. 
That was our delayed applause for Nerd Realm. Here, uh, let's get a little station identification. You're watching yeah, Lagging Out. Check us out at laggingout.com. You can also check us out. Go like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash laggingout. Follow us on Twitter at laggingout. On Instagram at laggingoutshow. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we post the uh, replay of the live broadcast following uh, usually a couple days after the show. Check us out at youtube.com slash laggingout. Is that all of our social media? That's pretty much it. Um, Check out our Pinterest. Check out our... We don't do all that. <laughs> we do have a Pinterest, but we don't. Although it wouldn't hurt us to maybe do a stumble. I, I have a Pinterest for, for Zombie Killer. Well, a lot of women have Pinterest accounts. It seems to be a predominantly female dominated. It's a way to shoot down Zombie Killer, and I'll, I'll fuck you all with Well, no, I, I I would say, yeah, sure, go ahead if you want to. <laughs> I don't know anything about shoes, so... Oh my God! Every time I go God. there, it's it's yeah, I know. Every time I go there, it's like shoes and There's dresses. No How are you still not married? About that kind of stuff. Oh my God! What's How that? How are you still not married? I have no idea. What a catch! I have no idea. <laughs> You're witty. You got that going for you. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> um, we want to mention Revolver Gaming. Revolver Gaming, a clan that succeeds on being strong and unique among the thousands of clans of mundane and weak. Check out Revolver Gaming on our YouTube or Twitch at twitch.tv slash revolvergnunited today. It's a mouthful. Yeah, I'm glad you read that one and not me. I think there would be spit all over the place. I'm really sorry, Revolver Gaming. I did it twice, though. <laughs> While you're at it, you can also check out Xbox Boss Players. They are a multi-platform community, and they welcome all gamers regardless of their name. Did you Check do that, Reed? Was it, did you today. really? Oh my goodness! Read that a little faster next time for us. <laughs> Run by the hey, one. You know, only. speaking of gaming news, did you hear? You know, with all the legalization stuff going on in Colorado, there's a game developer out there developing a new game. Oh yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's coming out. It's a uh, Chronic the Hedgehog. I don't know if you're <laughs> familiar with it. Yeah, instead of being a very fast-paced game, it's actually a very slow-paced game. You know, and instead of rescuing animals, I guess you go out and you pick plants. I'm not quite sure. I haven't read up too much on it, but uh, you know how Sonic was a very fast game. Chronic the Hedgehog will be a very slow game. So instead of um, him going after gold coins, what does he go after? Dime bags? I I'm guessing. I, I did. I would assume. Uh, I don't know. Bags of buds. I don't. I'm not sure. I, actually, it's probably food because it's Chronic the Hedgehog. Yeah. yeah, he's got like you know, he's probably green. He has like really red eyes, and I, I'm trying. I'm, I'm imagining he looks like Knuckles, except he's like his hair is down. Except he's green. Yeah, except, yeah, except he's, he's green. green. Yeah, and then the other, it, it wouldn't be tails, it's fails, and uh, instead of knuckles, it's chuckles. I think that's the, um, the rest of his little mate. I I have no idea. I just know that his name is Chronic, and and like Sonic, it's very slow. So. Thank you very much. What? What? America. It's America. Oh, America. 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 Yeah, what's with the flag tonight? What's going on with that? What's? So I'm at my folks' house, as you know that, for a couple of weeks because uh, my nephew was born and I'm taking care of my dad. And uh, there's like, why? I saw your last show and there's nothing in your background. It's like, why don't you put an American flag back there? I'm like, because I don't have an American flag. It's like, oh, we do, and they went to go found one, and they're, like, all looking for it, and they're like, oh, put it here, put it here. So I put it behind put it, put it behind me so that I have some sort of backdrop. They also wanted me to push out. I'm on the kitchen table. They wanted me to push out the kitchen table about 10 feet, and they want to come behind me and start waving. And they're like, <laughs> hi, 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 we're going to do it, we're going to do it. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone would go for that. I, know that. I go, do you really want to be on camera so 50 people can see you? I don't know. <laughs> you go to that camera for mil I mean tens of people to see you. That reminds us, Moab will be back on our next show. He's getting his computer back, so we'll be monitoring on Twitch. We'll be on Twitch and Google Plus and YouTube starting. All at on the our next same show. time. So there's no reason not to be able to find right. the stream of the show. Oh, and by the way, Nerd Realm, I think it was Havoc that was trying to do a Cobra Commander impression on the show. And I was listening to it, I go, all right, funny guy's got to go on that show and show him how to do a Cobra Commander. That's not an invitation for you to do it now. So we're doing... World domination! Why so can't we get back on television?
I want to be in a cartoon. Let's let it out. Follow us on Twitter. Don't make me say it again. I will smack the shit out of you. <laughs> say what? We got what? a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't think that's taken. We have a t-shirt. <laughs> shit out of you. Let's, let's do the lagging out loot giveaway. Read. Yeah. Uh, it's the lagging out loot giveaway. What is the lagging out loot giveaway? Check it out, folks. You can win some stuff when you watch our stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, really? Okay, hold on. <laughs> if, if you want, you want to do it in the, the Cobra Commando oh, voice? Okay. That's going to be hard. I don't it's think the it's the Yeah, it is. It's the Leg It Out giveaway, Leg It Out loot. What do you win? Well, watch our show live. <laughs> and watch for a trivia question. I'm trying to read and keep my head in the camera. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is hard. Hold on, I need a drink. Cobra needs a drink. Oh my god. <laughs> Much better. Cobra is so wait for our trivia English. question to pop up on our Facebook page entitled Lag It Out and be the first to answer the question correctly and you will win a chance to win the Lag It Out loot. <laughs> what is the Lag It Out loot? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a game in four autographed by Total Rock Studios. A pair of gamer gloves, an Xbox card worth forty nine ninety five. Whoops, I'm off camera. <laughs> a South by Southwest lanyard autographed by Funny Guy and Chieftain BFD. <laughs> autographed pictures, t-shirts, water bottles, and more. So watch Lag It Out every two weeks. And watch our Facebook page. Go like Lag It Out, Facebook.com slash Lag It Out, Cobra Commander. If you don't, you're, you suck. <laughs> oh, man. man, that sounds painful. As God. I'm just glad it's not an action figure of, like, the Macho Man. Oh, yeah. It's the Lag It Out loot giveaway. How do you oh, win? Yeah, that's pretty good. How do you win the Lag It Out loot giveaway? <laughs> You sound like Cartman if you smoke the pack a day. That's the only problem. Yeah. Well. Cartman when he's when he's forty, is that what you're trying to say? I've never claimed to have a good backdrop, so no. zombies always in bed. You have I'm you're famous in for a half-ass backdrop. It's just not wide enough. I want to get a pair of those big, huge granny panties. You know what I'm talking about that they usually have at tourist shops. Yeah. And you're gonna put them on and do a calendar. No. Uh, but I was going to send them to you to hang up because I think it would look a lot better than your green screen. Oh, uh, okay, okay. If you guys want to donate to Lagging Out, we do have a PayPal button on our really, really old website, laggingout.com. You can just click the PayPal button and just give us 50 bucks for Funny Guy to get a bigger green screen because, you know, I'm just going to chroma key everything out because I have nothing else better to do. Or, you know what, even better, if we can buy him a skyline of L.A., um, and put it in the background, um, it might be better. It'll be also like better than the blanket he uses and pretends is a green screen to hide his kitchen. It is a green screen. It's definitely a green screen. Okay. Without a doubt. But I'm going off on a tangent, so... Yeah. Last week's trivia winner was Darren Leeds. And the question was, what video game console... As the highest number of video game console sales of all time. The answers were three, the Xbox 360, Nintendo 64, the Wii, or the PlayStation 2. And the correct answer was D. This week's trivia question is... Congratulations! Congratulations, Darren Leeds. You won a chance to win our Lagging Out loot giveaway. Lucky, lucky Darren! Yay, Darren! Yay for Darren. You get a chance to win. A chance to win. I can only do that like once a show. <laughs> yeah, it, it wow. sounds so painful. It is. <laughs> but he can't stop doing it. It's, it's no! like an addiction. It's like an addiction. Yeah, it is. It's It's like you get to that vortex of cruelty. You're not going to get it better if you don't do it. Know what I mean, Jane? <laughs>
Oh my god! Yeah, no, that was horrible. That was horrible because I'm <laughs> my throat's so dry right now. Wow. My throat is so dry right now. Take a swallow. Giggity. That's some cool <laughs> giggity. All right. Um, okay, this week's trivia question. Who created the Game Boy best-selling game Tetris? Pete Kaufman, Boris Pasternak, Alexei Panichinov, I think that's how you say it, or Conrad Uno? The first person to answer this question correctly when our trivia question pops up this week on our Facebook page on facebook.com slash lagging out, L-A-G-G-I-N-O-U-T, gets a chance to win the Lagging Out Loot giveaway like Darren Leeds did this week. Pat Hughes actually posted something really nice. It's like, I just, can I just quickly say a massive thank you to Chieftain, Funny Guy Friedman, and Zombie Killer. Sorry, I don't know your real name for supporting Xbox Boss players only. You guys rock. I love watching your shows. I cannot believe I cannot believe you're not large you're not a larger channel. Yeah, you and me both. People are truly missing out. I generally mean that. So yeah, massive thank you. I yeah, so yeah, a massive thank you. I have already shared your latest episodes and have scheduled you on a couple of the pages. Much, much love. Thank you so much, Kat. Please. Thank you, Kat. That was really nice of you. Oh, thank you, yeah, that was very nice. Yeah, so now there's four people that can't believe we have a large we, we are larger. So that's cool. They can't yeah. believe we're not butter. Andy Donovan actually says, love the page. You guys are hilarious. And then Robbie D., who was our uh, guest last show, says, thanks for having me, guys. I had a ton of fun, and I'd love to come back anytime. So that's awesome. So there's three people that like us out of, like, the 20, 120 million people in the United States that don't watch us. So that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. awesome. Is that it for the night? Are we done? Yeah, that was our uh, before we go. Like, thank you, Les. We'll do it before you go every time, and we can just think of something cool every time at the end of each show. On behalf of Zombie Killer Funny Guy, Lily Raven, we'd like to thank you for watching the show. And till next time, this is Chieftain lagging out. What was that? Is that how we're doing it now? <laughs> this time, yes. I don't know. Is that how we're supposed to do it? I don't know. <laughs> it's changing every time. That was how I did this the last three times. I don't what? Know. Okay. Hello. Good night, folks. Thanks for watching. Later. Later. Out. See you later. Game over. This is Chieftain, a.k.a. Two, Joe 2.0, a.k.a. Joe, however you know me. Everyone's doing this thing. I got nominated by actually two people this time. Um, Laura Barrett, my roommate, and the original PSP, Patrick Scott Patterson. This is actually dedicated to one of my Xbox buddies. I'm going to just call her Star. Best of luck to her. And being a Yankee fan, thus the hat. This is Lou Gehrig's disease, so I'm doing that for in memory of Lou Gehrig as well. Um, I'd like to nominate uh, my partner in crime for the Lagging Out Network, Funny Guy, my right-hand man, Lily Raven, Kathleen Zolch from Rooster Teeth, the geeky gamer girl, Christy, Blue Polar, and Eric83, and also Master Chief and Cortana. You know who you are. And here I go. I was gonna <laughs> I sobered my head, did you? <laughs> <laughs>